Welcome to Who Else Wants Their Child to Be Lightning Fast at Mental Maths Part 2 from www.mathsinsider.com. In Part 1, I showed you how to find the weak spots in your child's mental math skills and how to find a starting point for their mental maths practice. In Part 2, I'm going to show you um, where you can get questions from and how to use them. Now, the site I'm going to use is called the mathworksheetsite.com. And on this uh, website, we can generate some free printable maths worksheets on a variety of topics, um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Uh, you can also generate some uh, mixed problems, fractions, measurements, graphing, telling the time. Uh, there's also a subscription area where you can generate um, a variety of worksheets on topics from preschool counting all the way up to algebra. Um, but this is a monthly paid subscription area. Now, for the purposes of our uh, example today, we want to generate some um, adding one questions. So I'm going to click on single digit horizontal. And um, first of all, we need to set up our worksheets. So we need to choose how many questions we want to have on each worksheet. I'm going to choose 20 questions. Um, and because we want questions, uh, adding one questions, we want to add all numbers, choose all numbers. And to those numbers, we want to add one. So I'm going to click on clear and then just check the one box uh, to show that we want to have adding one questions. We can include an answer key, but with adding ones, I I'm not going to bother. Um, and then click on create it. What this website does is give you a PDF printable uh, sheet, worksheet with randomly generated questions. Now, one of the negative things um, about this site is that some of the questions are in uh, reverse order. Um, but it, should, it shouldn't take your child too long to uh, get used to that. So um, the maximum number of questions that we can choose uh, to generate is 20. Um, however, if we go back uh, to this page, we can click Create It Again, and it'll generate another 20 uh, random questions, so a different set of questions. So we can just keep on going back and clicking Create It um, if we want to get more and more questions. Now, uh, you may be asking how many questions should uh, my child be practicing uh, each session. Well, in order to show that your child's confident and ready to move on to the next um, adding ones, adding twos, adding threes, um, they need to be doing about 20 questions per minute. Uh, so that's 40 questions in two minutes, 100 questions in five minutes, 200 questions in 10 minutes. Um, so you can see that uh, there are days where you're going to be needing to click create it many times. Now, in the end, it's up to you how much time you have each day. It's better to do a little bit every day. So some days you'll be able to do 200 questions and, and some days only 20. But as long as you're doing something each day, your child is going to be making some progress. Um, so once they've uh, mastered the adding ones, uh, move on to the adding twos. And we'll say, uh, so we can generate some questions with adding twos. Again, some of the questions are in reverse order. Uh, once they're confident with adding twos, mix in some adding ones so that they can review those as well. So I'll show you what a mixed sheet looks like with adding ones and adding twos. Once they've mastered that, once they're confident with that, we can pick adding threes um, and then after that they, they're confident of that, mix in some adding ones and adding twos. Now carry on in this way until they're confident all the way up to adding twelves. And can happily manage uh, mixed questions all the way up to adding twelves uh, at the rate of about 20 questions per minute. So this is a sheet with some mixed questions. So how long is all this going to take? Well, as I said before, it depends how much time you have each day, but I'd say, uh, I'd say around, um, sorry, that was just my alarm. I would say that would take um, around six months. Um, it's not a quick fix uh, solution, but what we're trying to do is make sure that these addition facts are fixed firmly into, into the child's head so that they're not going to have any difficulties in their mental maths will end up being lightning fast and their man mental maths. For more hints and tips and advice, visit us at www.mathsinsider.com.